darkness of night We live to die We lose our souls every day Hey, hey, if you're new to the channel, my name is Richard. I'm so glad that you're here because I'm an entrepreneur as well as a high performance coach. And today I want to show you what I personally eat in a day for maximum productivity. Now it's about 9 a.m. in the morning right now, which means it's breakfast time. So we're going to have a quick breakfast before jumping in the gym for a little workout. So come on, let's go to the kitchen and let me show you what I'm about to have. So every day during breakfast time, I typically have the same thing every single day for the sake of consistency. And it's actually really simple. I have two hard boiled eggs right here, followed with a couple berries, strawberries and blueberries today. And because I'm gonna be working out in the next hour, I'm gonna have a banana. But the whole concept behind why I do this is I want high protein and a little bit low on the carbohydrates. Berries actually have very little carbohydrates and they're very high in micronutrients and a lot of fiber as well. And so this is just good for overall digestive health and also making sure my body's functioning with the right micronutrients. And the reason why I have the eggs is because eggs are very high protein. If you see my entire breakfast, it's actually not very big. And I used to eat really, really large breakfast because you know what people say, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. But what I realized is if I eat too much during breakfast, then I get a little food coma. And the couple hours following my breakfast time, right before lunch, I tend to start working less productively. So I like to encourage you, if you're trying to figure out what foods to eat, cut down and make your breakfast portion maybe a little bit smaller. Because when you do that, you're gonna be able to think more productively because your body is focusing less on digesting food and more on thinking power. So let's crush this breakfast right now and then we gotta run over to the gym. Okay, so right before I head out to the gym, I'm having this one last thing, which is this green smoothie. And you might be wondering, what the heck is this? Now, this is a very, very simple concoction. Uh, this is Energizing Berry Greens. This is my mentor, Joel Marion's company, Biotrust Nutrition. It went from zero to $100 million in less than one year in sales. Joel is a man that I greatly look up to, and I believe he produces some of the best supplements in the world. And then I'm also just using it with some micronized creatine. Creatine is used for generating power, and I've seen a substantial difference in the amount of weight that I'm able to lift and how much longer I'm able to keep going in the gym when I take creatine versus when I don't. Mm. Can't say it's the best tasting, but hey, it gets the job done. I get my micronutrients in. Let's get to the gym. I wanna catch you one more time. I really wanna cross the line. I do it all before I die. I wanna get it on tonight. I wanna get you one more time. So I forgot to bring my belt today. We were just gonna have to pinch the dumbbell between the legs, which is honestly really, really painful, but it's okay because we need to do some weight pulls. So workout complete. It is time to get back to this a little short on the workout because I got a coaching call I got to get to as soon as I get back home. So come on, let's do some high performance coaching. The circle of focus is very, very simple. Everyone starts with pizza pie. Let's think of it like a pizza pie, right? In the circle, I want you to think of whatever the goal is that you're trying to accomplish. Fundamentally, the thing I need for you guys to understand is if we can cut out this stuff, then we keep the pie as clean as possible, as few slices as possible. And that's, that's the most important thing. All right, just finished a couple coaching calls that went by super, super well in my opinion. And now I should be taking a shower because I didn't have enough time before this coaching call. So come on, cold shower number two of the day. Let's go. All right, moment of truth. Ooh, look at that hat hair. Damn, that hat hair looks ugly. <laughs> Here we go! Ooh, so freaking 
These cold showers literally never get easier. So get on them because they are the best for your mental toughness. You want to see a magic trick? I promise you, I did not do that through video editing. Alrighty, so it is a little bit past noon right now and it is time for lunch. Now, my lunches are always a little bit on the lighter side for the same reason as breakfast, which I would explain to you. Lighter on the food so that we don't digest as much, which means there's not really gonna be a food coma. So last night I meal prepped about one week's worth of chicken and this chicken breast just has a little bit of rosemary, black pepper, red pepper seasoning on here. Very, very simple. Chop this up because about 20 to 30 grams of protein is gonna serve me really, really well to crave my hunger before I have a nice big dinner. there is how I prepare lunch pretty much every single day this salad literally takes about three to four minutes to chop up it's very clean it's very healthy and all that you see is lettuce greens strawberries blueberries and chicken breasts and when you have food like this number one it's fast to make number two is extremely healthy and I personally don't add on any kind of dressing because I think it tastes good just the way it is and a lot of dressings have unhealthy additives and just not so good stuff in there so I'm gonna crush this right now Typically I eat lunch about 15 to 20 minutes. I'm gonna be listening to a podcast from Born to Impact. If you've never seen in Born Impact before, this is one of the best podcasts I've ever listened to. I'll leave a link in the description, but make sure you don't leave right now. Watch this video to the very end, and then once you're done, go check out this podcast. Alrighty, so it is 2.30 in the afternoon, and you know what time that means. That's a weekly coaching call. I'm excited because I'm about to jump on with my high performance coaching client students. Let's jump into this coaching call. Hey yeah, guys, I want to thank you for this day that I get this opportunity to serve my, my students, Lord. I just pray the 10x impact, Lord, that they would come in, that they would receive, and they would go out and create a massive, massive impact in the lives of other people because of the performance strategies that they would learn today. I pray that you would bless these things. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. With all these habits that I've learned through this program, that I've almost gained this uh, perfectionism about it. You guys are getting into that 1% of 1%, which is you are really analyzing the nitty gritty details of every aspect of your life to, to really max out. That's where you're getting to. And this is a good spot to be. So August, like you're in a, in a really good position. Like congratulations, first and foremost. Like you are at a level of high performance that I think most people really aspire to. It just comes down to making sure you take those breaks, keeping in mind the importance importance of having proper rest days is going to serve you in the long term. Wow, we it is currently 3:40 and we just finished an hour long coaching call with my students. Wow, I feel so blessed and so privileged. If you're part of the high performance training program, just know I feel so encouraged that you're part of the program. I'm so humbled to be able to serve you. I do early dinners about 4 to 5 p.m. and the reason why is because I go to bed early. And a really important rule for you is if you try to eat dinner and you have bigger dinners, try to have at least a three hour window between the time that you fall asleep and the time that you actually eat because that's gonna help a lot with digestion and also make sure you don't have heartburn when you actually eat. So come on, let's go ahead and buy some dinner. It's such a strange feeling living out here in Los Angeles because when I was going to school at UCLA, Westwood is really isolated, but this is the city. This is when you watch the movies, you own the media. I'm not the biggest fan of Hollywood, to be honest with you. It's kind of dirty. There's a lot of homeless people. Nothing against homeless people, but it's just the neighborhood's not the most safe is what I mean. But come on, I know Muay Thai. Someone mess with me, knock him in the face. Let's go grab some dinner. The package is secure, it's getting a little dark, and you don't want to be around outside on LA when it is dark, so let's get back home. Alrighty, so just touched back to the headquarters and got Chipotle. Now, every time I go to Chipotle, I try to mix it up, but the reason why I like Chipotle so much is because it's such good value for the amount of food you're getting and the food is really clean. Drop a comment down below with, I wanna hear the story if you actually wanna hear it, but I actually got fired from Chipotle my senior year in high school. I remember it was so embarrassing because I didn't show up to work a couple times, but that's a story for another time. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to hear the story, but let me show you what I got. What you see right here is 
four tacos, and I always like to get the rice on the side, but you have the hard shell tacos. Inside the tacos, you have steak, fajita peppers, lettuce, cheese, tomatoes, as well as rice and beans on the side. And there's a very, very heavy carb emphasis on this meal. You might be wondering, Richard, why are there so many carbs? It's because I've eaten a lot less carbs during the beginning of the day. Eating breakfast when I was eating lunch, there's pretty much no carbs in those meals because I want to be able to stay focused and carbs tend to make you sleepy. But it's 5 p.m. now, I'm done with work. I can pretty much eat as many carbs as I want because after this, I'm just relaxing and hanging out. So it doesn't really matter if I get a little sleepy. So I'm gonna crush this meal. And I absolutely love Chipotle because of how much food they get and how clean it is. Let's go ahead and enjoy this meal. Well, one more thing I wanna tell you is normally I don't watch TV, but during the 30 minutes, 45 minutes that I eat dinner, sometimes I like to catch up, watch The Office, watch Modern Family, something lighthearted, something funny, just to be able to keep the laughs and giggles up. So I'm gonna enjoy this dinner and crush these four tacos. Hmm, that is so good. So just finished up dinner here and with dinner finishing up that means that my food consumption is pretty much over for the day and let me know in the comments down below which meal that you enjoy the most because look the food you eat truly is what's going to generate your output you are what you eat and the healthier you eat the cleaner the foods are that you consume the more high functioning that you are eating foods is just one component to actually living a high performance lifestyle but if you want to truly develop a high performance lifestyle, then you need to actually optimize all those other things, your habits, your disciplines, your focus. And if you want to take your performance to the next level today, that's right. Today, as you're watching this, I'm actually going to be hosting a high performance masterclass. So that's something that you want to attend. There's probably one coming up in the next few hours. Go ahead and click the link down below. That's going to take you to the registration page. You can type your name and email. And later today, I cannot wait to see you on that high performance masterclass and check out Ashley. Ashley saved over 54 hours per week and all these other people that saved all this time it's all because they first started on this master class i've had thousands of people join me on these and i cannot wait to see you there as well it's completely free and so click the link down below and i'll see you later today on that master class all right if you got value from this video make sure you go ahead and share it with a friend text it to a friend by copying this link texting it over and also share on your instagram story make sure to tag me up with my instagram right there and i cannot wait to see you next time remember how you do one thing is how you do absolutely everything. I'll see you next time. Woo! And that right there, I love her. Oh, so, oh man, lighting so bad. My food is, hmm, that is so good.